In case you missed, the testimony will continue tomorrow for a man charged with sexually abusing four children. Justin Levere is charged with two counts of aggravated sexual assault of a child and two counts of continuous sexual abuse. If found guilty, he faces a minimum of 20 years in prison and a $10,000 fine. He won't be eligible for parole if he's convicted of all charges. A man from Orange says he's thankful to just be alive after being robbed at gunpoint outside a house while trying to sell this AR-15. The victim, who is going by the name Dylan, said he responded to an ad on Snapchat from someone looking to buy a gun. Dylan says he was trying to exchange that rifle for cash that he could put toward a new home, but he says the sale never happened. As soon as I went and walked around the corner, the other dude uh, came out with two pistols, put them to my head. He said, uh, turn around and leave now. The other dude grabbed the AR. My kids and my wife were outside in the car, so I listened. We reached out to Orange PD for comment, but did not hear back. We can confirm a police report was filed in this robbery. Dylan says he feels uneasy knowing his AR-15 is out there in someone else's hands. Millions of Americans could be eligible for a booster shot very soon. The FDA is expected to authorize Pfizer shot for all adults on Thursday. Then the CDC's advisory committee will meet on Friday to discuss it. Once the CDC director signs off, the rollout is expected to happen fast. Pfizer Pfizer, meantime, is asking the FDA to authorize its experimental antiviral pill to treat COVID. Studies show the drug is 89% effective at preventing hospitalization or death for high-risk adults. The drug company says you can take the pill and recover at home. Pfizer says it reached an agreement to let other manufacturers make and sell the pill inexpensively for use in 95 developing countries. Nearly two years later, and the tributes for Michael Westbrook continued to pour in through the thing he loved most, music. The band director was one of the first Southeast Texans to die of COVID-19 in March of last year. His mentee was inspired to find a composer to create music that would encapsulate Mike's presence, one that he says is so very missed in the community. After a year and a half of preparation, a piece entitled Michael's Hymn is finished, and it will be performed later this week by the Lamar Band. He's there with us through this piece. I mean, it really, it opens up with a big glorious fanfare. God of our fathers and the trumpets carry the piece, the, the first movement. And I want him to feel the warmness that I felt while being around Mr. Westbrook. Admission to that concert will be free at the Julie Rogers Theater Thursday at 7.30 in the evening. Now, they say whether you knew Mike Westbrook or not, this will be a beautiful time to come and remember loved ones lost during the pandemic.